Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we're going to have a look at the latest on the upcoming heat wave that is arriving tomorrow and really peaking early next week sort of towards Tuesday Wednesday time. We'll have a look at the various models at what our top temperatures could be and it's looking likely 27 28 degrees will be eclipsed if not getting towards 29 or 30 degrees potentially um, being much much hotter than we saw in August where temperatures um, peaked at 27 degrees degrees um, in the whole month of August. So it does look like we're going to be definitely getting hotter, uh, having the hottest temperatures since middle of July. So if we do run through the latest GFS, you can see at the moment the block is slowly easing eastwards and we've got low pressure putting pressure on. Now this is going to be drawing up the hot air from the south and you can see by midday Saturday, you can see it doesn't look spectacular. However, you can see that really hot air over towards Spain Overnight tonight starts to get drawn northwards. By tomorrow afternoon, we have pretty warm air, especially in the south. Further north, still cooler with westerly winds. We do have some rain moving through at times as we've got those low pressure systems towards Iceland. So potentially some heavier rain moving through Sunday night into Monday. But it will fizzle out um, as we head through Monday. You can see that very hot air starts to push northwards. And we see that 15 degree isofer move through many parts in southern England through Wales, Ireland, getting up towards northern England before slowly cooling down. And you can see temperatures really peak um, by Tuesday at the upper air. But considering we've had a few days to build up, it does look like the top temperatures will likely be on Wednesday. Now, one thing we do need to watch over the coming days is the potential, as this heat wave does eventually break down towards Wednesday, Thursday, of a few thunderstorms around as well. You can see we have this brief little low pressure system that could potentially bring a few thunderstorms. We'll have a look at the precipitation in a minute, um, um, see if there is any signs of anything too significant coming along. Beyond that, though, westerly winds do take back over, and we do start to pull in some fresher at Mantegare. Now, it's going to be a massive transition, so there is still going to be some lingering warmth, especially in the south and the southeast. We can see as we head towards the next weekend, you can see we do have high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, driving in westerly winds with some uh, cooler air in off the Atlantic. You can see some hot air mixed in with these low pressure systems out of the Atlantic, and these are air part, uh, well, this is sort of the ex-hurricane Larry, which is out in the Atlantic at the moment as, as a major hurricane is unlikely to hit any major land masses. We need to watch out for Bermuda potentially as that could be in its uh, long-term track. But you can see by next weekend, it is out in the Atlantic and it's going to be driving up potentially some warm air once again. And we can see some warm air advection pushing northwards and that could build in some more high pressure towards day 10. We could see once again, another brief heat wave. Um, in 10 days time now it is uncertain it is in the longer term so we have to take with a pinch of salt of course but it does show you with these hurricanes injecting warmth into the jet stream the gfs is definitely looking like it's going to be amplifying um, when we see the trough out in the atlantic and the high pressure over towards the uk which is definitely um, a more favored scenario for the uk with warmer hotter weather likely with southerly winds and you can see right towards the end of the run really quite hot in the far southeast um, we could be seeing temperatures eclipse 30 degrees once again before the Atlantic does break through. We see some cooler conditions. So yeah, the latest GFS really does look pretty smoking hot. Um, next week, we have a brief, brief break for a few days before hot weather comes back again for the end of the run. So we do have a look at the max temperatures. You can see Sunday tomorrow. First signs of a bit of warmer weather coming, 25, 26 degrees potentially in the south. Elsewhere, low 20s, maybe high teens in the north where we still have some cooler air. By Monday, the warm air spread up further northwards, widely 26, 27 degrees, if not potentially 28 degrees in a few local areas. Further north, getting into the low 20s, Scotland still struggling in a few areas, especially over elevation, but potentially 20, 21 degrees in Aberdeenshire. As we head through to Tuesday, where really temperatures start to climb, you can see widely 26, 27, 28 degrees, if not potentially a little bit hotter in a few local areas. And then even into Scotland, getting to the low 20s, mid 20s, potentially in southern Scotland and even parts of Ireland and Northern Ireland, getting to the mid 20s, maybe 26, 27 degrees in the south of Ireland. You can see by Wednesday, it does look like the peak temperatures will be coming. By midday, temperatures in the mid to high 20s. And potentially by 3 p.m., we could see 28, 29 degrees potentially. But you can see a little bit cooler in the southwest. And that is potentially a signal of some showers and storms breaking off. So we need to keep an eye out for that. 
as we head through Thursday. You can see there are still some warm air in the east, but cooler air is spreading in from the west. So maybe 25, 26 degrees and widely low 20s in England. But for Wales, Ireland and Scotland, it does look like temperatures will be on um, the slide down. You can see by Friday temperatures low 20s quite widely once again as we still have some lingering warmth, but not anything exceptional. By next weekend, still potentially low 20s in the far southeast if we do have lingering warmth, of course, but further north in the mid-teens. But as we head to the end of Sunday, still reasonably warm in the far south, maybe 20, 21 degrees, but further north a little bit cooler. But by Monday, we can start to see some warmer air coming in from the southwest. You can see the uh, te temperature over the sea, 17, 18 degrees potentially. Over land, maybe 20, 21 degrees. As we head through to Tuesday, you can see widely mid-20s once again, 24, 25. By Wednesday, once again, high 20s, potentially 26, maybe 27 degrees in a few spots. Of course, as we head through September, the sun strength does decrease, so it does get that much more difficult to get 30 degrees. But still looking very pleasant on this latest GFS. And even by Thursday, 26 degrees plus. I won't go too far beyond that as it is looking pretty uncertain and I don't really want to be calling out any temperatures um, 10 days out. So we do run through the precipitation. You can see overnight Sunday and Monday, we have that band of rain that I talked about earlier. Moving through northern areas, it does fizzle away and turn really showery. But generally things are looking very dry through Tuesday. But then by Wednesday, you do see showers and storms breaking out potentially in the southwest. And you can see we could be seeing some quite severe thunderstorms potentially in the west as it bumps into that hotter air, but eventually does move through and we do see the Atlantic breaking through with fresher conditions. So the potential is there for thunderstorms and over the next few days we'll have a look at that in more detail as it comes into the shorter term um, sort of time frame so we can have a look at the short, uh, really short range uh, models. So if we do go through the GM, see how that compares, you can see the block is moving away and you can see that hotter air has been drawn up from the south, really quite warm. 15 degree ice firm covers most of the country and if we do go to the zoomed in united kingdom look you can see really quite warm over the top of the uk really quite hot spreading all the way through before we do see atlantic air breakthrough by the end of the week potentially of course with thunderstorms and then as we head for, towards the end of the run you can see still Atlantic air pushing in, and by day 10, we could be seeing another southerly blast, but it does veer a bit further eastwards on this latest GM. So it does show similar to what we saw in that GFS with some hotter air potentially coming up in 10 days' time, but it does push it a bit further eastwards. So we'll have to keep an eye on that um, to see how, how that sort of gets pinned down over the coming days. But definitely does look like really quite hot next week, so I hope you can go out and enjoy it. If we do have a look at the temperatures from the latest uh, GM, you can see we do see temperatures potentially uh, by Sunday getting towards around, 5, uh, around 24, 25 degrees potentially. As we head towards uh, Monday, you can see low 20s, 26, 27 degrees, and widely low to mid 20s once again. By Tuesday, hotting up once again, 26, 27 degrees in the south, widely low 20s elsewhere. And by Wednesday, could see the peak temperatures 26 maybe 27 degrees a little bit more pessimistic on the uh, gm of the widespread uh, nature of the heat wave but still shows low 20s quite widely just doesn't quite show mid 20s for areas in ireland and northern scotland as well so we'll have to keep an eye on that but it still does look fairly pleasant and um, a, a couple degrees either way you won't really notice it that much it's going to be the sunshine uh, and the hot temperatures that what everyone will notice and then as we head towards thursday see temperatures much cooler maybe low 20s in a few spots, widely high teens, 20 degrees. So you can see much cooler air does spread in beyond that. So it does look like, um, it does look like it's going to be turning fresher, at least from sort of Thursday onwards. If we do have a look at the precipitation, you can see minimal precipitation over the course of today into tomorrow. You can see that rain band moves through Sunday night into Monday, but does fizzle away by Monday afternoon. And then widely through Monday, Tuesday, things are looking really quite bright and warm. Through the southwest, though, we can see some thunderstorms breaking out through Wednesday evening into Thursday and more widespread thunderstorms breaking out overnight into Thursday morning before that all clears away by sort of Friday, Saturday, more showery westerly outlook does come in. So we'll have to keep, of course, an eye on those thunderstorms, different things coming off in the GFS and the GM for location. So we'll pin that down over the coming days. If we do have a look at the ECMWF, see how that compares. You can see the block pulling away at the moment. You can see those southerly winds come in with a really quite hot air pushing up across the UK. If we have a zoom in, you can see 
15 degree ice firm firmly across the whole country, if not the 16 degree ice firm into parts of Wales, potentially into the south as well. Really quite warm there. It does get swept away, and you can see a a uh, small low pressure system does develop that could bring thunderstorms within the warmer air and then we do see westerly winds come in could be turning quite stormy there with x hurricane larry it does look like it's uh, going to be staying more out in the atlantic and not diving as far south as the gm and the gfs was going for so it'd be interesting to see what happens with that and we'll have to keep a really firm eye as that could bring some storm weather if it does stay further north or it could bring more heat wave like conditions if it dives further southwards if we now go through the GFS ensembles, you can see the big rise in temperatures over the coming days, peaking by around the 8th night of September, around 14, 15 degrees at 850 HPA, which is going to give temperatures into the mid-high 20s. You can see there is some precipitation signal as those temperatures start to come down as we see low pressure come in, and that is going to trigger a few showers and thunderstorms here or there, and we'll have to keep again another uh, keep an eye on that again. You can see a steady decline in temperatures. So by next weekend, it does look like temperatures will be down to around average, maybe 6, 7, 8 degrees, 850 HPA. A lot of variability within that. Um, as you can see by the uh, 6Z uh, GFS run, we looked at the 12Z. It hasn't quite come out in the ensembles, but you can see the 6Z GFS went quite warm, but a lot of ensemble members quite, went quite cool as well. Most ensemble members do have a lot of precipitation signals around, so it is a good chance we're going to still have low pressure near, nearby, and it does look like the high pressure we've had over the... Uh, over, over over the top of the country recently is going um, to be waning and we are definitely looking like we're going to be seeing uh, a lot more shower activity if not longer spells of rain but a lot of variability in the longer term and we'll have to really keep an eye on it if we do have a look at the mean sea level pressure you can see at the moment we've got higher pressure building back in as that block pushes away um uh, that block, well, it's still hanging around, but as it pushes away, well, you do see by the sort of the 8th, 9th of September, as that low pressure firmly comes in, we do fall away. Um, so as that block, you know, pushes away, we will slowly lose pressure towards the middle of the week. But at the moment, it is going to stay, remain steady as that block holds off for a little bit longer than we initially thought a few days ago. You can see the longer term, there is a bit more variability. Some going much higher pressure once again, others going much lower pressure. Um, so again, no firm pressure pattern with the ensembles, and again, we'll have to keep an eye on what does come out within the models. So if we do finally have a look at the UK Met Office run, which is a accurate um, high-resolution model, and it should show the temperatures and the precipitation a little bit better than the GFS and the GM. So if we do go through the max temperatures at 1.5 metres, you can see by Sunday afternoon, we could be seeing temperatures peak at around 24, 25 degrees potentially, maybe 26 in a few spots in the south, but widely low 20s. For Scotland and Ireland, maybe 19, 20 degrees here or there, but widely mid to high teens. As we head through to Monday, where the widespread heat starts, we do see temperatures getting up to around 26, 27, maybe an isolated 28 in England and Wales. For Southern Ireland, 24, 25 degrees. Northern Ireland, low 20s. And for Scotland, maybe around 20 degrees, maybe a tad warmer in a few spots. Head through to Tuesday, you can see temperatures pick up once again, 29 or 30 degrees in England potentially 30 degrees in the London area, widely low to mid 20s in Ireland, and again, low to mid 20s in Scotland uh, and Northern Ireland. So really quite widespread this warmth will be. It's not gonna be a localized event. Yes, temperatures will probably be the highest in the Southeast, but still in areas in Scotland, Northern Ireland, where we have seen some pretty drab conditions over the last week or two, it does look like temperatures will be getting up into the low, if not mid 20s, which is really quite warm this time of year, especially over Scotland. You can see by Wednesday where the temperatures may peak. We can see 30 degrees once again in the Midlands, even into Northern England, widely mid to low 20s um, or mid to high 20s. Low 20s in the far southwest, we do have thunderstorms moving in. And of course, same in Southern Ireland. But of course, Scotland, mid 20s, if not high 20s in a few parts maybe Aberdeen seeing 25 degrees maybe parts of southern Ireland uh, southern Scotland sorry seeing 29 28 degrees so feeling really really quite warm um, and will be quite warm nights as well getting into the high teens if not remaining around 20 degrees in a few spots if we do have a look at the precipitation rate you can see a few showers around at the moment um, nothing too much. A few showers in the west tomorrow. And then we see that heavier band of rain move through Sunday evening. A bit more progressive than the GFS and the GEM had. And you can see by Sunday evening. It does fizzle away into Monday morning. Um, a few showers around. But it does look generally quite dry through Monday, Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we do see some showers and storms start to break and out in the southwest. Um, which could 
um, bring some heavier, heavy rain uh, and some lightning strikes, which I know some people um, were sort of missed out this summer have been a little bit annoyed with that. So hopefully you may see some of those thunderstorms and showers around. So do remember um, to go out there and enjoy this weather. Um, as I keep saying it, this could be the last warm, hot weather we could see until sort of next spring, next summer. Now, there are hints we could see some warm weather again in September, maybe October, or even into November, we could see an Indian summer sort of pattern. But it is becoming less and less likely every single day that we do go on. As the light diminishes in the day, the sun strength goes down, it does become um, less likely we will get the really nice temperatures that we're going to be seeing next week. So do go out and enjoy it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.